Hi there, Matty Smith here. I just thought I'd put a tutorial together just to show you how I quite quickly and efficiently photographed uh, frogfish with a group of other photographers in the water. So while someone else was taking a photograph of the frogfish, I took a uh, test shot of my fingers. It's something I quite often do. Um, through my past experience, I guessed the exposure of around of f22 40th of a second, ISO 400, and my strobes set to minus one stop or half power. That got me somewhere close to the exposure I required, so happy with that, I moved on to another test shot. So my second test shot was of a small coral bommy, very similar to the one the frogfish was sitting on. Um, the same exposure again as I'd previously set for my fingers in the first test shot, but this gave me a little bit more information. It showed me that the water in the background was probably a little bit dark. The, um, I knew in this photograph I wanted my wife Lauren to model in the background behind the frogfish and she'd be off in the blue water. And with that water being quite dark she wouldn't stand out so I wanted to raise the colour and the brightness of the, of the background water a little bit. So I opened up my shutter speed to one twentieth of a second, one, that's one stop, open, um, one stop brighter, and that made the water a nicer, richer blue where Lauren would stand out in the background. I could see by the light falling on the coral bommy from my strobes that my strobes were set nicely how I wanted them to be, being um, nice even lighting. And the strobes were set at a 10 to 2 position if you would imagine the hands of a clock face. So they were slightly raised on either side of my dome port, quite close on short strobe arms. So now I know the camera was ready to go when it was my turn to photograph the frogfish and I wouldn't waste too much time or miss a shot. So upon approaching the frogfish I took a slightly lower viewpoint as he was looking down and I could get the blue water in the background where Laura would swim into the frame in a few seconds time and I, and I got my first photograph successfully. And a few seconds later the frogfish yawned and I was ready to get the shot. I wasn't still messing around trying to get exposure right and strobes positioned um, and I was ready for the shot and got that. I then waved Lauren into the background and we got the shot we'd set up to do. The whole thing probably took a minute or two and then I could move on and let the next photographer move in and take his pictures. I hope that was a great help. Um, bye for now.